Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 9th of 2024 is titled Comet Ponds Brooks in Northern Spring. So what do we see here? Well, here toward the right hand side of the image kind of toward about centered is Comet Pons Brooks. Now a comet is material within our own solar system and is generally a chunk of ice and other material that is about the size of a small city a few kilometers across. Now it's very icy material and that means when it comes close to the sun it gets heated up and a lot of that material is vaporized and becomes a head of material around it. We can see the bright head pointing down toward the horizon here. And then some of that material is pushed back by the solar wind showing the tail that stretches off toward the upper right hand side. Now the comet itself the actual solid piece of comet would not be visible at this scale. The only reason we can see comets like this is because of all that material being expelled off of the surface by the heat of the sun. Now this is a comet coming in a little bit closer and will actually reach its perihelion or closest approach to the sun on April the 21st. So about a month and a half from now it will reach its closest approach and of course that will make it more prominent. Comets become more prominent for two reasons one being closer to the sun and the second being closer to Earth. So if you get a good combination of those two that when it's close to the sun it's also in very close to Earth you can end up getting a very prominent comet visible in the sky. So this is actually a comet that would be visible during the total solar eclipse coming up on April the 8th. When the sky darkens, it's quite possible to be able to see the comet as well at that same time. Now the comet isn't the only object here. We also see a couple of galaxies and almost straight up from the comet is the Andromeda galaxy, the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own Milky Way. And toward the left hand side of the of the image, the other reddish fuzzy dot is actually the Triangulum Galaxy. These are two other prominent galaxies within our local groups our, our own grouping of several dozen galaxies. That is kind of our mini cluster. So very small compared to many galaxy clusters that can contain hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of galaxies. But it is our own little grouping that is present here and the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy are the two largest and most prominent members of that group. So here we get to see not only a couple of galaxies well off in the distance millions of light years away, but also a comet much closer in our solar system, only a dozen or so light minutes away. So a light year is the distance that light travels in one year. Sometimes in our solar system we use light minutes because the light year is much too large. So a light minute is how how far light travels in one minute. And our sun is about eight and a half light minutes away. So this is not quite twice as far away from our sun at this point. So that was our picture of the day for March 9th of 2024. It was titled Comet Ponds Brooks in Northern Spring. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be at the end of the world. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.